Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Three Chord Dave and this is the Jared James Nichols Gold Glory from Epiphone. I finally got my hands on one and I'm sending it back. Yes, folks, the Jared James Nichols Go Glory. We're going to get to it in just a minute, but pump the brakes, make sure you're ready and you have subscribed to this YouTube channel because I'm giving away a guitar. Not this one, a different one. But on July 16th, I'm giving away a guitar on Three Chord Dave Live. I don't want you to miss it, so hit that subscribe button, hit notifications, and choose all notifications. As I said, very cool guitar has been given away on July 16th. You want to be part of it, you want to have a chance to win. You have to be subscribed to the channel, it's the main thing. And you have to come to Three Chord Day of Life, because that's where I'm going to give the guitar away. And for the next couple of Three Chord Day of Lives, there'll probably be hints and tips on how you can win that guitar, because I have a very different way of giving guitars away than just picking by random. So anyway, let's get along to Three Chord Day of Life, win a guitar for yourself. It's going to be very cool. Now let's talk about this one, because I have some issues with it, and as I said already, I'm going to be sending it back, so let's get into why. Now, before I say anything else, my first impressions are still my impressions of this guitar. I haven't fiddled with it, adjusted anything. It's exactly now, it's exactly as it was when I took it out of the box. Anytime I do a video about a guitar that I have in my hands, that's what I do. I mess around with it, play with it as it is out of the box, without adjusting anything, didn't adjust the neck or the intonation or do anything with it. I didn't do nothing except tune it and play it. Here's about 30 seconds of me playing this guitar. Now, before anyone says anything about my guitar playing, I did call my channel Three Chord Dave for a reason. So, stick with that, all right? Now, <laughs> now, this guitar, if you don't know, it's a mahogany body, it's a mahogany neck. It's got an ebony fretboard, but it's a very light ebony fretboard. Um, yeah, not too, it, it needs conditioning, that's for sure. Uh, not too amazed by that. A Seymour Duncan P90, CTS pots, all that sort of good stuff. Now. The recording that I did, there was two guitar tracks, uh, both done today with this guitar. So it, it doesn't sound too bad. I know what you're gonna say, it does when you're playing it, Dave. That's fine, great. <laughs> anyway, looks wise, I still think this guitar looks a little bit unusual, but that's not a bad thing. I mean, you know, looking unusual, it's kind of my thing. Um, you can, it's a Les Paul Custom, so you got the dust split diamond inlay, you got the block inlays on the fretboard. It's a 50s rounded C profile neck, so it's quite chunky. It's not too bad though. If you're, if you're a guy who likes slim taper necks like I am, it's actually quite playable. I enjoyed uh, playing it, so it's not, it's not bad as a chunky neck. So if you like slimmer taper necks, don't be put off by that at all. It's definitely still a very good playable guitar. It does come in the Epi Light Soft case, which has surprised me because I thought it was a, a bit of pawning people off. I didn't think it was going to be good. It's actually a very sturdy, very good case. I'm very impressed with that. So yeah, thought that was a little bit of a, a knock against this guitar, but having seen it, and, and felt it in person. I actually think it's a quite a good thing, the Epilite case. So I wouldn't be too discouraged to pick up another guitar that has an Epilite case. But, Gibbs, but Gibson slash Epiphone, keep putting in proper hard shell cases, please. Now, here's the thing about this guitar. It looks great from a distance in terms of the finish and everything, but the finish is called Double Gold Vintage Aged. Now, here's my problem with that. Around the edges, around the binding in particular, it's very kind of um, not well done. It's kind of like it was scraped last minute on a Friday afternoon, someone who's in a hurry to get home from the factory to feed the cat or whatever they needed to do. Um, there are parts of the finish where the binding is, is just uneven. It's really uneven. And it's something that is, if you notice it, you can't unnotice it. So I'm quite disappointed with that and feel like it's going to bug me forever. <laughs> and it's not just in one spot, it's in three or four spots, like over here, it's up here, it looks pretty bad up at the top of the horn there. And yeah, it's the same on the back. 
the the matte finish itself I'm not super crazy about. I think it's kind of disappointing to be honest. It looks cheap in my opinion and it, I'm not super happy. In fact, I've had this guitar in my office here for about a week now and I've picked it up three times, including today when I needed to record parts for the video. So it hasn't attracted me to pick it up that much. I don't see that changing. I'm not a fan, like the fact that I can feel bumps in the finish is really off-putting to me. And these are minor things. Like the guitar plays quite well. The pickup's pretty cool and responsive. Uh, I, I love P90s, obviously, as you guys know, if you watch the channel regularly. But I do occasionally want to switch up to that neck pickup and there's not one here. So I feel like uh, just something is missing for me uh, with this guitar. Now, I know so many people love this guitar and they're not wrong. This is just my opinion on it, okay? I feel like it's just a guitar that I haven't bonded with. I'm not going to pick it up very often. There are other guitars in my collection that I'm going to gravitate to first. And it's kind of, I've got some pretty cool guitars. So it's got to be a cool guitar that breaks into that regular rotation. It's just not doing it for me. But uh, the big things are the errors in the finish. The way the binding was scraped is just so far below par that I just, I wouldn't be able to unsee it and it would put me off picking up the guitar. So in some places I've got seven ply binding and some places I have five ply binding. And I mean like here has five and here has five and here has seven and here has seven. Like it's all over the place. So, um, so yeah, not super happy with it. From a distance when you can't see and feel the, the little mistakes, um, it's a great guitar, it, it is, and it looks nice and it's different. I was hoping, and I was planning on picking this up for a long time, was hoping it was gonna be a great guitar, but for me, it's just not the right one. So I'm sure some people out there love their gold glories, and as I said, they're not wrong. It is, is a beautiful guitar. It's just this particular one is not finished particularly well. The P90 sounds pretty good. I think, I think it's great, particularly for those power chords and so on, so it really does, sing this guitar and in the hands of a better guitar player it would make some sweet sounds that's why jared james nichols plays one and and it's awesome anyway guys that's my thoughts on the jared james nichols gold glory from epiphone as i said i waited so long for it that i was hoping it was going to be a kick-ass guitar but ended up being a little bit disappointed in it so let me know what your thoughts and comments are about this guitar in the, the comment section below don't forget as i said hit that subscribe button because I'm giving away a flipping guitar, and it's a very cool one, a very cool model uh, that I think you're gonna want to pick up. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, Three Chord Dave merch is available, links are in the description below. I'll be back with another guitar video very soon, and until then, take care.